In this video, we are going to talk about adjectives and adverbs. An adjective is a word that acts as a qualifier to a noun. For example, she is a good athlete. Here, good will be the qualifier for this particular noun, which is athlete. What is an adverb? An adverb is something that modifies a verb, an adverb or an adjective. For example, we may say that she sang beautifully. Now here, the word beautifully is an adverb. And what is it modifying? It is modifying the verb, which is sing. Adjectives can be categorized in three categories, positive, comparative, and superlative. For example, good, better, best. Adjectives can be used as an attribute in the attributive manner, where they come just before the noun, and they can also be used in a predicative manner, where they are coming just after the verb. Let us look into some examples of adverbs. For example, only three dollars. So here only is an adverb. Rita sings sweetly. So sweetly is an adverb. And they are always late. So always is an adverb. Now let us take a look at some examples. First of all, what we are supposed to do. Every sentence is divided into four parts. A, B, C and D. There is some error in one of these parts. If there is no error in the statement, we may opt to go with option D, which says no error. Let's take a look at the first statement. Since she failed once, her teacher asked her to work hardly for the upcoming exam. Option A, since she failed once. Option B, her teacher asked her to work hardly. Option C, for the upcoming exam. And option D, no error. So, in this statement, the option B, the part B of the statement is wrong. Why? Because the teacher is not asking the student to work hardly. In case of this particular adverb, hardly, it means scarcely or very little. And therefore, the teacher will not be asking the student to work less or little, especially if she has already failed once. So the meaning that we are looking here is that she should put more effort and Therefore, the teacher would ask her to work hard. Now, both these words are adverb forms. However, just because of the ly ending, the entire meaning is getting changed. So, here for this particular statement, we have to use the word hard. And therefore, the correct answer should be, she, since she failed once, her teacher asked her to work hard. For the upcoming exam. Let's take a look at this example. Because of the scolding from his father, he refused to quickly finish the meal. Here, let's look at the options. Option A, because of the scolding. Option B, from his father, he refused. Option C, to quickly finish the meal. Option D, no error. In this particular statement, we see an error which is known as split infinitive. Here, what, we, what is happening is that between the two and the infinitive, there is an adverb that is coming in between. We do not use adverbs in this manner. Here, if we take a look at the statement, we have to replace this particular adverb quickly and place it in a sentence in such a manner that the two infinitive can stay together. So, the correct answer here would be, because of the scolding from his father, he refused to finish the meal quickly. Let's take a look at the next example. The technology made in China is more inferior than the technology made in Thailand. Option A, the technology made in China. Option B, is more inferior than. And op option C, the technology made in Thailand. Option D, no error. So, in this statement, part B is wrong. There are two errors here. Firstly, inferior itself is comparative in nature. So, we cannot say more inferior because it becomes a double comparative. Instead, we will only go with inferior. And second, for some comparatives, for example, junior, prior, prefer, and so on and so forth, we use to instead of than to compare. And therefore, the corrected statement will be, the technology made in China 
is inferior to the technology made in Thailand. Let's take a look at another example. My father bought a doll which nearly cost a thousand rupees. Option A, my father bought. Option B, a doll which nearly costs. Option C, a thousand rupees. And option D, no error. The error is in part B of the statement. It is because a modifier should be placed as close to the noun it modifies as possible. Here, modifier is nearly. However, there is costs between the uh, noun it is modifying, a thousand rupees, and the modifier itself. Therefore, the corrected answer should be, my father bought a doll which costs nearly a thousand rupees. Let us go to the next example. When only a child, my mother taught me how to train my cat. Now, option A, when only a child. Option B, my mother taught me. Option C, how to train my cat. And option D, no error. Here, the error lies in part B of the statement because when you look at the first part of the statement, it says when only a child. However, the placement of mother and the placement of me are jumbled up and therefore it is difficult to ascertain who was a child when this certain event took place. So, we obviously can understand the mother cannot be a child if she is teaching her daughter uh, how to train her cat and therefore we have to rearrange this statement. This type of error is called a dangling modifier and it should be avoided at all costs. The correct answer is when only a child I was taught by my mother how to train my cat. So in this video we learned how to place the modifiers, how the meaning of the modifiers may change if we use the ly form, how to use the words which are originally comparative in nature and how to uh, avoid double comparatives. Thank you for watching this video guys. I hope this video helps understand how to spot errors in adjectives and adverbs. See you soon in the next video.